Hey all you well protected folks out there, this is Jalan from Sophos Support and today we're setting up a new wireless network with the Sophos XG firewall. So we'll be walking through a simple setup today. First we'll talk about prerequisites, we'll then enable wireless protection, add a new wireless network, add an access point, and we'll talk about a few things to keep in mind along the way. All the steps that we're going to be following today can be found in the configuration documentation, the links for which are available in the video description. Let's jump in. So the only prerequisite to begin the setup is making sure the AP has an IP address. Now this can't be done with a static address, so you'll need to assign it via DHCP. If you don't have a DHCP server in your network, you can set one up on the XG like we've done. Links for the instructions in the video description. Let's move on to enabling wireless protection. All right, so we'll go over to the protect section on the left and select wireless. And on the right, we'll select wireless settings. And in the global settings, let's toggle enable wireless settings to on all right, and in our allowed zones, let's specify the network zones that'll be used to connect the access points. Perfect, let's go ahead and hit apply and move on to adding the wireless network. So we'll move over to the wireless network tab and on the right, we'll click add. Now we'll give our new wireless network a name and in our case, it's gonna be Sophosub and we'll use that same name for the SSID. We'll leave the security mode as WPA2 personal and enter a passphrase. Now we'll set the client traffic mode to bridge to AP LAN so that the wireless network is bridged into the network of the selected access point. This means the clients are going to share the same IP range as the selected access point. So going through the other options, separate zone means the traffic will be handled as a separate network with a specified IP range. All the traffic from a separate zone network is sent to the XG using the VX LAN protocol. The bridge to VLAN option means the wireless network is bridged into a VLAN. You can use this method if you want the access points to be in a common network that's separate from the wireless clients. More information about these will be available in the documentation link in the video description. Let's go ahead and choose bridge to AP LAN. Now in the advanced options, we have some additional configuration available. In terms of encryption, we're gonna leave that set to the default AES as it's the fastest encryption method. And in terms of frequency bands, we'll leave our AP frequency bands to both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Keep in mind that not all AP models support both frequencies, so be sure to verify what your model supports and be sure to verify what the devices on your network require. Let's hit save and move on to adding the AP. So from the wireless page, we'll go over to access points. And in the pending access points section, we'll click the green check mark under manage to authorize the AP. This is gonna bring us into the AP settings. So first let's set the country the AP is located in. In our case today, that's gonna be Canada. And let's give this AP our wireless network. In the wireless network section, we'll select Sophos SUP in the dropdown and hit apply one selected items. Perfect, let's hit save and we're all done with the configuration. It may take a minute for the AP to show us active in the access point section. We'll just refresh the page until it does. Once the AP shows is active, we'll just confirm that the SSID is being broadcasted. As we can see, the SSID is now broadcasted, so we're all good to go. So thanks for watching everyone. If you had any further questions, feel free to check out the XG Wireless documentation, the XG Help Guide, or view and post questions at community.sophos.com. All those links will be available in the video description. That's it for me today. Stay safe out there.